right everyone welcome back to another beginner electronics video um, so what we have here today it looks a little bit more complicated than it is but it's really not it's um, it's similar to my last uh, LED video where we're just lighting up an LED pretty much uh, the only thing that I've thr thrown in here are buttons and uh, just more uh, LEDs here and just a quick demonstration what is this supposed to do? I feel like it is pretty self-explanatory, but you can press a button and the corresponding LED lights up. So yeah, pretty fun. Uh, just uh, pretty much leveling up on that one LED video. And next thing we're gonna do is build this together. So yeah, the first thing I want to say about this video is that there's probably a simpler way to build this than other than how I've just dis uh, designed here. All right, the main things we're gonna need: we're gonna need some jumper wires, some uh, even smaller jumpers, some LEDs, some buttons, and some resistors. Alright, so with the, for the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to just put these the LEDs first because I want to kind of know where everything's going to go. The next thing I'm going to do is put my resistors on the positive side of each LED, and these are 10k resistors. If you remember from my last video, I needed to up my resistance so that um, it wouldn't blow out uh, the sensors in my camera. So if you can kind of see what I've got going on here, I have the negative rail and each negative of each LED, and I have uh, these 10K resistors going into the other side of the breadboard here. The next thing I'm going to, going to do is uh, install the buttons, and I forget the name of these types of buttons for this video, and pay attention to uh, when you look up what kind of button this is, how the circuitry of the railing or the con connectivity, no continuity of the buttons of or of the, the little pins, pins of these are. Uh, if your circuit doesn't work by the end of this, uh, the most common, I think, point of failure, at least for me, was the pins of these buttons. And I would also recommend, you know, doing one button first with one LED, just making sure that um, it works this way and that you don't have a dead battery. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is start wiring each one of these to one of the buttons. I can kind of show you now uh, the signal flow of how this is all supposed to work. I'm going to use the, this orange one that's supposed to be the blue one. I didn't have uh, any blue cable, so whatever. So I got all of the buttons, each of the positive sides, oops, each of the positive sides going to the positive rail here. So that's where all of those are coming from. And then I jump 
I jump over here, and this is where, again, I feel like it could be more efficient. Uh, and then it hits this LED over here. Then it goes through the resistor, goes to the LED, and returns back to the uh, negative rail. And I pretty much repeat that process four times. And what's interesting about these kinds of things is it does have to exercise imagination and logic. So if you guys are able to do any better, please post uh, in the comments or post a reaction video, whatever you guys want to do. And of course the last step is actually testing. So let's see if I did this correctly. Plug in our 9 volt, trusty 9 volt. Nope, oh, I forgot to connect these two rails. So there's always something sometimes. Always be aware, cognizant. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. So as always, this is a very crude schematic, and this is also kind of what leads me to believe that this circuit can be done more simply than the way that I had done it. I actually forgot that there was a fourth LED over here, so uh, my box isn't as symmetrical. But anyway, I have my 9 volt battery plugging into the positive rail, going out and first hitting these. This is the symbol for the switch. It's a uh, looks like a little lever popping out. It goes down, hits a resistor. Uh, to protect the LED from blowing out, hits the LEDs all individually. If um, if this connection gets triggered, it will hit the corresponding LED, then go to the negative rail, and then come right back out to the negative side. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, uh, if you guys have uh, better suggestions for how to do this, uh, please leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching.